Bauer Vapor X4, size 11, fit 2, size 11 and a half, fit 2, size 11 and a half, fit 1. I bought over $2,000 worth of skates to find the proper fit. And as a last minute add on, I bought the Bauer Vapor X4, size 11, fit 1. Watch the video to see the fitting process. This fits maybe a half size too big. This fit is perfect. The volume on this seems pretty good. The volume on this seems a little tighter. What's better? Here's a perfect fit. And the volume on this seems fine. We'll look at all those in more detail later. Now I want to show you the lineup of the new Bauer Vapor X4s. As you see, they're all brand new. Now a little preview of the new skates. That might be a half size too big. That's a little better. This is a little tight in volume. This is a little better. And now to preview some of my old skates that I've had in the past. And then here is the lineup of new skates. Here is the Bauer foot scan of my foot. As you'll note, the ankle wrap, my left is bigger than my right, but both are less than the population. And in another scan, my heel depth, my left is greater than my right, but both are greater than the population. Here are some of my own measurements. Heel depth, four foot width, and length, the left is always greater than my right. As it turns out, the Bauer scan is correct. As you see here in the scan that measures size, width, and heel width. Sorry to bore you with technical details, but on my size foot, a half a size is 3 sixteenths of an inch. Okay, let's weigh some skates. The Bauer Supreme 8000 with the Lightspeed 1 holder, the original holder of Lightspeed, it's 1,079 grams. Now we turn to the Bauer Vapor 25s with the Lightspeed 2 holder, 1,006 grams. The Bauer Supreme 195 with the Tuke Custom Plus holder, 903 grams. Now as you see in this picture, in 2007, the Bauer 25s were kind of an upper tier skate, but not top tier. And the Bauer 195s were the top tier. And here is the history of the Bauer Vapor line. Let's weigh the new skates. Here we have size 11 and a half, fit two, Bauer Vapor with the LS Plus SS steel and the light speed edge holder, 945 grams. And we have the 11 and a half size, fit one, same holder in steel, L light speed edge, 946 grams. And here we have size 11, fit 2, which should be a little lighter since it's a half size smaller, 929 grams. Let's take a look at some skates I've used in the past. The Bauer Supreme 8000 came out in 2003, size 11 and a half D. Has the light speed holder. Here is the Bauer 25 Vapors with the light speed two holder, 11 and a half D. and the Bauer Supreme 195s, top of the line skates in their day, circa 2008. And they came with the Bauer Lightspeed 2.1 holder, but I put on the Tuke Custom Plus. Here is the weak side of those three skates. That is the side without the logo 
and as you see the Bauer Supreme 195s are size 11 and a half B and here are the back side of the same three skates Okay, so let's try on some skates. Um, you put your toes to the end of the toe cap. Just kind of fit your foot snug in there, and then let's look at the back. And as you can see, these Bauer 8000s were always about a half size too big. You see that little negative space in there? That should be flush, at least for the adult player whose feet are done growing. Now, as per volume, put a straight edge across, you know, the eyelets. And if it touches, just brushes like that, that's pretty good. That means you got good volume and you don't have any potential for lace bite. So this gate, the Bauer 8000, the volume test for me was good. And when you have it all tied up, I always measure from eyelet to eyelet, maybe about the fourth or fifth eyelet up, and then I like to measure it. This one's about 2.75 inches, and we'll compare that to the other skates. So now let's try the Bauer Vapor 25s, which were my best fitting skate ever. As you see here, there's hardly any gap. It is a perfect fit for length. Very good fit for length. They were very good and snug. Um, and let's do the volume test now. And as you can see, there's a little more bite in the top of my foot. So I had potential for lace bite, but thankfully I didn't have any lace bite and these ended up being my best bidding skates ever where you could really skate well and uh, go from side to side and uh, the feet were, the skates were just almost part of your feet. And uh, let's measure the fourth or fifth eyelid up here. And uh, as you see, that is about three inches we'll call it three inches across where the other one was Bauer Supreme was 2.75 now here is the Bau Bauer Supreme 195s they had a very good fit for length as you can see no gap but the trouble with these skates is they were high volume and the ankle went way up on my foot higher than I was used to but I still skated in these for five years but as you can see it's hardly touching my foot so um, you know the volume was a little too big for me but it wasn't too much so I was able to skate well and let's tie them up and I'm sure this will be a little less than 2.75 considering the volume so let's measure there about the fourth eyelet and yep 2.5 it looks 2.5 inches so yes they had the most volume thus the eyelets are closer together 11 and a half fit one for the Bauer Vapor 4 skates let's check out the length it looks like there's about a half size too big here. So let's check out the volume. Fit one are supposed to be more narrow. There's three fits, one, two, and three. Now fit one, it appears to fit like my old Bauer Vapor skates, which were the perfect fit. Kind of a low volume skate. But we have to remember, I have a wider forefoot. But let's check out 
the 11 and a half fit twos. The length should be about the same, maybe a half size too big. And sure enough, we see the gap there. That's a half size too big. So I think I'm going to go down to size 11s. But let's check out the volume just in case of the fit two. As you see, the volume, it just brushes the straight edge. So it's a pretty good volume, not a candidate for lace bite. And fit two is a little wider than fit one in the forefoot. Now let's go down to size 11, fit two. Let's check out the length first. As you can see, this is a nice snug fit. So I think I'm going to stick with the size 11s. So I sent back the size 11 and a half skates. Fit two, let's check out the volume with the straight edge test. And it's just brushing the top of my foot there. So definitely going to keep those and try them out. Now, I did buy size 11 fit one just to see if I could squeeze into them. And of course, the length is perfect. And the volume you're going to see is a little tight. Let's do a final fitting and compare them to the old faithful Bauer 25s with the perfect length and the perfect volume. Just take a look of the fit, the straight edge test. For Bauer skates, we get 30 days to try them out, bake them and skate in them. So size 11, fit one, the length was good. But you know, they were a little too tight in the forefoot when I skated and kind of hurt my foot and my back. So these, they did not make the cut after a baking and a few skates. But the Bauer size 11 fit two were the ones that I kept, perfect length. The volume might be slightly bigger, but it's better than slightly smaller. Just want to show you some differences between skates from 2007 to the new ones I bought in 2023. As you see, those aren't rivets, those are screws. I put those in myself when I put the new holder in and I use T-nuts to keep them in place. But notice the screw right there, that's to take the blade out. Back in those days, you used the tool to screw out the blade. And now the new skates, you notice they have a little trigger right there. All you have to do is press the trigger and pull out the blade. Let me show you. So we'll take the skate, always use a nice safety glove, press that trigger, pull the blade. It's a nice little trigger system. And now let's put the skate back in. Find that little slot in the front. Then push down twice. Well, thanks for watching.